Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how we display or set up our filtered image or thumbnails in WordPress 3 with the 2010 default template. So uh, as you can see now, my post has no thumbnail or filtered image. So the first step is we go to our dashboard and go to our post. And here we click one of the post title. And if we scroll down, there is an option called set featured image. Now we're going to click it and select file and pros. Let's say I'm going to have this picture or this image as my feature image. If we scroll down here, we can click use as feature image, going to click it. And as you can see, my size of this image is 200 times 200 pixel. So now I'm going to save all changes, close the box. And as you can see, now we have this image. So we're going to click update. Now, if we go to our post and refresh it, it's not showing up. Why? Because we haven't called the PHP function that will display this thumbnail. So the next step is we're going to our appearance and editor. Now we go to uh, this file should be in index.php. So we're going to index.php. And if we scroll down, we get we read it here and this index.php getting template get underscore template underscore part loop so this uh, file is included loop.php so we go scroll down and loop.php and click it now we're going to copy all of this Control a and copy and paste it in not plus 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 change language to php now we go to our blog again and inspect it with um, firebug minute firebug inspect it as you can see this is in div class entry content copy it go to our php again and find this div uh, entry content find next it's not there it's not there it should be in php the content there it is, uh, div class entry uh, test content. So under this div, we're going to call function, which is uh, same as the oldest version, which is uh, 292. We call it a PHP, PHP and uh, the underscore post underscore thumbnail. And then close it close PHP copy all of this and paste it in in loop.php file be sure you are in loop.php file update file refresh it there it is our uh, thumbnails of each image but uh, one thing though we have to stylize it so we're going to add uh, inspect it again this image is called, um, wait a minute, that you can see better, called attachment post thumbnail. Copy it, edit CSS, scroll down, paste that in. This image is uh, have its own class, which is attachment. So we're going to uh, attachment post thumbnail going to um, width, define the width, which is 200 pixel and height, 200 pixel and padding, uh, top zero, left, uh, right, 20 pixel and down, uh, bottom 20 pixel and um, left one uh, zero and float, don't forget, to the left so neat so but the painting is maybe too much so we're going to bottom uh, 10 pixel so that it is um, you have now but now as you can see the upper top is uh, not same with the paragraph so we're going to fix the painting that you can see fix the painting going to scroll down padding where is padding here we're going to add maybe um, 10 pixel 10 pixel which is perfect okay now we copy all of this copy 
copy and we go back to our uh, dashboard and style to CSS. And paste it in there. Update file. Now we refresh it. We have this neat uh, uh, post uh, thumbnails which will work in all of your posts. So, but you have to be consistent because this size is uh, we have added to CSS file which has width 200 pixel time 200 pixel. So you next time when you add uh, image as thumbnails, you have to set that image to 200 time 200 pixel. So that's all for today guys and I hope it's going to be helpful for you. Thank you for watching and take care.